Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My story is mixed between Christianity and Islam. Um, both my parents are Christians. My mom and dad are Christian. Um, the way uh, it started off, my two of my brothers, older brothers, we share the same mom but different dad. But their dad is is Muslim, alhamdulillah. And uh, my younger brother, we have the same same parents. Both parents are the same. I grew up. I grew up from a young age with my stepdad in um, in Uganda, and basically he told he used to take me to the masjid from a young age, and I was I was going to the masjid at that age, and he used to listen to the Quran, he used to listen to Sheikh Abdul Basit. That's what I could remember, and, and I used to hear the Adhan as well. But what happened that when he left um, with my dad, with my mom and dad, my, my stepdad and my, and my mom, they left for England. I was then, um, I had to live with my, uh, with my, my real dad, who is Christian. And then we, he, he's a Christian, obviously, and he was taking me to the church, and I went to a boarding school as well, for eight years. That way, I, I lost touch of Islam, and I was, in, I was, in, um, I was involved in boarding school. There's a lot of haram, a lot of immorals, uh, which were not in line with, with in line with Islam, and that way, I longed to see my my mom and my stepdad because in that way I was connected with Islam. My mom promised me before I came over here. She promised me that when I come here, um, when I finish my education in primary. I will be able to come to England, uh, which eventually I did after eight years. Um, during the time in, in Africa, we used to go to, um, in the boarding school, we used to go to church Sunday and Wednesdays, as they normally do. They go Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, and obviously, in Christianity, they believe uh, Isa is the son of God, and that's what they believed. And uh, also, um, they, they do a lot of blasphemy. Uh, um, they, um, they talk with that knowledge about, about the real purpose of life and why we're here. Um, For, for a long time, um, I was disconnected from Islam. When, I, when my mom left, and my, my stepdad left, they left in 91 to come to England. From 91 all the way to 1999, I was living in Uganda. Um, I came here in 99. Uh, when I was re reunited with my, my mom and my stepdad, that's when I, I felt the Islamic household spiritual life when I came over here. It took a while for me to uh, actually get back my old ways of Islam that I was previ previously accustomed to and enjoyed in Africa. So, um, I went to school in, in Kingston, Beverly School. And there's a lot of, it's a predominantly white community, and there was a bit of racism and, and bullying. Um, 
talking about my education, that actually this didn't help me in my education because it was a bit of a distraction. And uh, before I finished GCSE studies, I, um, I got involved into running and uh, doing activities that will help me actually mentally and keep me strong, which I, which I did and was very good for me. The thing that sparked my um, my um, my re interest in Islam was <coughs> when 9/11 happened. I was in school at the time. I was in sixth form. I remember I was school hours, and um, one of the uh, teachers said, "Oh, 9/11, the twin, twin towers had just happened. Uh, there was an incident that happened." I didn't pay much attention to it. What actually got me reinterested in Islam is that my, um, my brother started practicing, my older brother and my younger brother started practicing Islam because they lived um, with my stepdad most of their lives anyway. And they started practicing, they started giving me dawah about Islam, and get, getting me engaged and asking questions about Islam. And that really, um, was a turning point for me. That was about 2001. And um, I asked them questions. They told me about how Christians believe that Jesus is God. And I was really shocked because I never believed that. I used to believe um, before, the prior, prior to my Islam, that um, Isa alayhi salam was just the son of God. That's, all, that's it. I didn't go further than that. They went, these other people, especially in this, this country, they're telling me they believe this is God. I was shocked. When I, when I met a Christian group in my, in my local, local area at that time in Kingston, they told me the same thing. And they reaffirmed what my brother was talking about, that really Jesus is, is God. And I was really shocked. That put me off, really put me off Christianity. And then um, on my 18th birthday, my brother gave me a Quran as a present. And um, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. And um, he also gave me Illustrated Guide to Islam. That one, I, I was flicking the pages because it has got a lot of pictures in it. And it's very interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I started listening to audio. He gave me an audio on Khalid Yassin, Purpose of Life, which was uh, very interesting and very informative about Islam. At the end of the lecture, there was a, um, a Quranic uh, recitation audio by uh, Abdullah Basfar and Surah Fatih, which is very, mashallah, very touching. And it had translation in English as well. Um, that got me um, interested in Islam even more because it really hit, it was hitting my heart because it was amazing, alhamdulillah. Um, I was going through some hard time just after, after school because I was ha had to change school after sixth form. I had gone through ta hard time and um, I was struggling a little bit. And I said to myself, let me give Islam a, a go. Because what they take, my brother was telling me, both my brothers were telling me was, I, I felt was the truth. And um, I told them that evening, I want to take my shahada. So we, we went to the masjid for Isha, I believe. And then um, they introduced me to the caretaker. His name is um, Ali. He told me to take a gusu. It's a shower in the um, in the masjid, which I did, and he briefly explained Islam to me, and then I took my shahada. That was September 2002. 
everybody was welcoming, alhamdulillah. And obviously, I had family support. My brother was, uh, my two brothers helped me. Even, even the next day after, after my shahada, the very next morning, I went to the masjid for fajr. Because my brother, my older brother, and my, my older brother used to wake us up, me and my younger brother, to go to the masjid for Salatul Fajr. From then on, I just carried on going to the masjid. Um, when my, uh, when my, um, a bit moving forward into my life, uh, when my mom left Kingston, she came in this area in Charlton. Um, I had to move, later on I had to move in with her in Charlton and that's where I met the brothers in, in, in Willich. Um, the first brother I met was on the bus, brother Bashir from Willich. Um, he, he told me where the masjid was and I went to the masjid, I met the brothers. I was going to that masjid for a long, long time. Uh, and I've, I've got, got a lot of friends and brothers from that masjid, alhamdulillah. Uh, how I get to know um, Olusha Masjid is one neighbor of mine, is Muslim. His name is uh, Abu Abu Okasha. He, um, probably Imam Shakir knows him. Um, he told, he, he brought me to the masjid, and introduced me to the brothers and introduced me to the, mast, to the Imam. And that's how I got to know the, the Masjid of Lusham. And um, from then on, I started going between Lusham and Willich, back and forth, Lusham and Willich. Um, but I was more connected with Willich because it was local to me. Um, brothers, alhamdulillah, they were very supportive. They helped me on my journey to Islam. And also, I'm very grateful for Imam Shakir, one of my Imams who used to teach me Quran for over 10 years. It was very good to me. Alhamdulillah, may I reward him and preserve him. I mean, that's my journey to Islam.